Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Let me get my chat up here. Welcome in, everyone. Just getting myself situated, <laughs> as always. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Hi, Kate. I'm making your card tomorrow now because we have some free gifts today. So I'm making some car, uh, cards with the free gifts. Hello, Donna. Hello, Penny. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Let me make sure we're live on Facebook. I think we are. Let me take a look here. Yep, looks like we're live on Facebook. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hello, Cherie. Hello, uh, Kate. Hello, uh, Donna. I think I already said hi, but hello, hello, Donna. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's get started and let's talk about the free gifts this weekend. Uh, so, let's go to the top view real quick. Oh, my goodness. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. You can see all of the, the madness that is all around me on my desk so I can grab something at any, any given moment. All right. So first and foremost, if you spend uh, $50 or more, you will receive the uh, brand new rainbow washi sheet. So this is... Uh, a beautifully uh, designed rainbow sheet. So you get two sheets. I have my second sheet here because I was already playing around with it. So let me show you my second sheet here. So these are the rainbow washi sheets that you will receive if you spend 20, or excuse me, $50 or more. And then if you spend $75 or more, you will get this brand new boho rainbow stencil and this boho rainbow stencil will only be available as a free gift it is not going to be offered separately and then if you spend a hundred dollars or more which is pretty easy with this new release you will receive the be happy rainbow die set so if you spend a hundred dollars more but you also receive the other items as well so you will receive the stencil as well as the washi sheet so if you spend a hundred dollars or more you will receive all of these items isn't that great I think that's fantastic. So today we are going to be making two different cards. Uh, and I'm really excited about these two cards because I was playing around in the studio today and I uh, designed both of them while I was in the studio and I had a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of fun designing them. So uh, first and foremost, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of ink blending because I love doing ink blending and I know that all of you love doing ink blending. So we're gonna do some ink blending on a panel here. Let me grab a piece of, let me grab a piece of our grid sheet here. I'm gonna grab just a tiny little bit of our repositionable adhesive, pop that on the back. I really love this repositionable adhesive. I know I've been using it a lot. We do have it in stock and it is great. It is really, really great. So pop that in the center there and then I'm going to grab our stencil this stencil already has some pixie spray on it for me using it earlier so i'm just going to place that down on top and it should still be should be good to go all right and we are going to begin doing some stenciling 
So the first color that I'm going to use, or I guess some ink blending, not stenciling. The first color I'm going to use today is the Bee Sting. Okay. Oops. Oh my goodness, I grabbed the wrong brush. Has that ever happened to you before? And we're just going to go in with a little bit of the Bee Sting down here at the bottom. And we're just going to go in rainbow order. Okay, so a little bit of the bee sting here at the bottom. And I just dropped, just dropped my dies. Because these, I know that there's going to be a day when these inks just fly off of here. <laughs> so we're going to grab a little bit of our bee sting, a little bit more. And then we're going to hop into our roar that has been a little bit saturated with the bee sting. So we need to go in and eliminate some of that. There we go. I think we'll be fine. Yep, we're good. All right. And then we're going to go in with some of the shooting star, which has very quickly become my favorite yellow. And we, again, the perfect blends are always ones that kind of blend into one another. So there is our shooting star. Now, later gator is what we're going to use for our green. Okay. Is everybody having a good Friday so far? diving which is the blue all right so there we go now our boho stencil is all shaded and colored up let me set those up there and let's go ahead and remove and let's take a look oh I think that turned out perfectly what do you think I love that I love that. But now what we need is we're going to need a little rainbow for the center. So how I'm going to do that, this just peels right off. I'm going to set this up to the top so I don't lose it. And the way we're going to create our rainbow is we're going to take this die. We're going to take some of our silver. It's important that it's the silver. We're going to take some of our silver um, sequin sheet and we're going to take some of our adhesive foam so this is the adhesive foam that is offered at brutus monroe we're just going to place that on the back there see what i did there hello kathy and we're just going to trim off this here okay and we're going to grab this this is a giant die set that you'll get for free I mean, enormous die set. And we're gonna take this die right here, which is the little rainbow die. Let me pop these back in here because we're only using two, two of the dies from this set. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pieces in this die set, but we are only using two of them for this particular card. All right, whoops, let me put this one back in there. Thank you, Penny. I think we might, I think we, we have this in stock, the, the foam, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to place this on here like so and run this through my die cutting machine. But at the same time that I'm running this through the die cutting machine, I'm also going to need a piece of our heat resistant vellum for the back of here. So I'm going to grab a piece of our vellum. And I'm gonna grab one of our circles from our foundation circles. And I think this one should be good. This is our heat resistant vellum. It is wonderful. If you haven't tried it yet, I implore you to grab it. All right, so we're gonna 
to send this through. How is everybody doing out there? Good? It always sounds like a lawnmower when I send it through because I use the Tim Holtz, the, the Tim Holtz switch. So it's, 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 a, it's a serious machine. And I'll send it through one more time. And also another thing I want you to have handy are the sentiment strips. I have to readjust this camera because it does not, hold on. There we go. I feel much more centered now. <laughs> All right. And it yells at me whenever I don't take it out of there. All right. So let me move my little snips out of the way. All right. So now we're centered. So there is the, the sentiment strips. If you haven't tried those yet, another great little thing to, to grab because they make it super easy to put, uh, to create, to use little sentiments, to create little sentiments. All right, so now we have our vellum, which is just going to diffuse the colors, right? It's just gonna diffuse it just ever so slightly. And now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this rainbow, which I think is super cool. So you're gonna just pop your rainbow right out. And because this is a thicker material, it is not going to cut out the inner pieces. So normally these inner pieces, um, would not be cut out anyway. These inner pieces are a score line because you receive those pieces inside uh, as separate pieces to pop in. So luckily this is a score, so it's just gonna score it for us, but that's what we want to do because what we are going to do is we're going to color this rainbow. Okay, so it looks kind of dull now, right? Because it's just silver. But we are gonna go in with our alcohol markers I'm using the Olo markers. You can use whatever markers you like. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna color. So I can follow that line very easily. See how I can follow around? And look, it's turning red because we're using the red alcohol marker. All right, so there's our first color. Now, one thing I would say is once you get down to the other colors, like I'm gonna use orange next, you want to not touch this a whole lot because it needs to dry. So now I'm going in with the orange. And don't worry, when I'm done with this, I'm going to bring it up to the, to the camera lens so that you can see how the colors are different. See how cool that is? Now we're going to go in with our yellow. And I'm sorry to everyone that doesn't like this noise, but unfortunately I can't not make this noise. <laughs> okay, so now we have our yellow. Now we're gonna grab our green. I think we'll do kind of this yellow green. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll need to do a blue. And there we go. So I'm gonna hit this real quick with my heat gun. Not too long though, because you wanna remember that this uh, is a, you know, a plastic. So I'll turn it on the lower speed. And just very quickly. All right, there we go. So now take a look at this. It is a full rainbow. Isn't that so cool? This is one of those things that when people see your card, they're gonna be like, now wait a second. How the heck did they make that rainbow? <laughs> I love it. I love that kind of unknown, so to speak. All right, and then to do our clouds, we're gonna take another sheet of the, uh, cause it does come with a cloud in the set and we're gonna take some more. So this is how the foam sheets come. They are large foam sheets. And all I do to give myself a good starter is I just peel one side of it up 
Oh, there's two here. That's great. So I peel one side of it up. Okay. And then you lay it down flat. Grab your sequin sheet. Pop that down on there. And then take this, place it back on top. And then you're going to take your scissors and you will just cut straight down. And this will not only protect your scissors, but also you have this all released and ready to go. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit because we don't need that full piece to do our, to do our little clouds here. So now we'll run our clouds through. We're going to do two clouds. How's everybody liking that fairy release? I mean, I can tell you based upon the orders, there's a lot of you really liking it. <laughs> okay. One cloud down one cloud to go. So this is what our little cloud looks like. And I'll show it to you up close because I know the lighting is a bit harsh. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I love it. And so simple. last cloud there we go and we need a sentiment so this is where our sentiment strip comes in so I'm gonna do a sentiment strip these are already pre-cut and ready to go I love these they're great they are 5.5 inches by point a uh, by 8.5 inches they are fantastic because you can just grab them and go then I'm going to take one of the new stamp sets. This is called Follow Your Dreams because it has a ton of great little sentiments on it. And I'm just going to grab the hello sentiment out of here. And we're just going to stamp on here. Whoops, wrong side. All right. So I'm just stamping the hello. And I think we'll have this come from the side here. I move these out of the way. And we'll grab our card base and we'll start assembling. Is everybody following me so far? Everybody good? So far, so good. <laughs> All right, so let's trim this down to four by five and a quarter. Oh, it might already be trimmed down for me. Almost. There we go. Now it's trimmed down all the way. All right, and let's start assembling. Using the Gina K tape runner, my favorite. And then we're just gonna position this center or center adjacent, whichever you prefer. Now I'm gonna take a little piece of adhesive, pop my see how the vellum just diffuses it and then this is already adhesive on the back so I'm just going to take this off place that right in the center there oh that's so pretty and then we're going to take our little clouds place those here this, I tell you, this, this sequin sheet, 
so look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Who wouldn't want to get a card like this? I mean, I know I'd love to receive a card like this. All right, and then we're just going to take our little hello. And I'd say we'll probably trim it about there. All right, and then we're going to take our adhesive. And just pop this going across here like so. And there we go. Hi, Shannon. So just a very simple, very easy card. Uh, we used, of course, the sequin sheets with the free gift. And then we also uh, did some alcohol marker coloring to make it look like an actual rainbow. But that is our first card today. Yes, this stencil is a free stencil this weekend. Okay. Hello, Darren. So there we go. That is our first card for today. How fun is that? All right, for our second card, we are going to use some of our washi tape. Yes, it does. It sure does. Okay, so we're going to use some of the washi tape that is a free gift. So this is the uh, washi tape that it's, it's actually called uh, Painted Rainbow. This is a free gift this weekend if you spend $50 or more. And I'm just going to take this and I am going to just have some fun with it. Because uh, this is kind of the star of the background of this card. So I'm just going to place my washi tape. I'm just going to fold it over the back because we are going to... Um, we are going to be placing something on top of this. So next, we'll just add another piece. So we just want to try to evenly space them the best we can. So see what we see what we have going here so far. Okay, and then this one, I'll do just a little bit lower. And really create your own ending with this. We're, we're just creating kind of a washi, washi sheet background. And then I'll use this one next. This one was Jess's favorite whenever she saw this on my desk when I was creating it today. And actually, oh, nope, it's down. It's down. That's where it's going to live. So there we go. So how simple. Now we have our background all done. And what I'm going to do is, this is a very simple card. If you blink, you're going to miss this card. You're going to miss how, how simple it is to put together. So I'm going to next grab an oldie but goodie die set. So this is from last year's Create Your Own Ending event. So this is called Mom and Dad's Day. This is the coordinating die, but I really want this envelope. So this is the envelope that I'm going to use. So I'm going to grab that. And then, uh, let's see. So I'm going to, I'm not going to run it through because I've already, uh, I've already done it because I, you know, I know how much everybody loves the, the lawnmower that it sounds like whenever I run it through. So what I did was I ran this through and look at this perfect little envelope. And I have a friend right now that needs some cheering up. So I'm going to, I'm going to do some cheering up for them with this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down um, and then you'll need a little piece of paper. This piece of paper measures two by two, but let me cut, trim this down to four by five and a quarter. I think that's good four by five and a quarter i'm actually going to trim the five and a quarter from the top because that'll give us a real clean edge and then this is going to be very simple so i'm going to take this envelope well let me actually grab my let me grab my card base but you could use these to create 
Borders. Hello, my beautiful Dion. Whatever you would like, but look at how great that looks on there. I mean, just so simple. So simple, so easy. That's what I'm all about. Uh, except when the weekend comes around, I get a little more complicated with the cards because I have a little more time <laughs> to, to play around. But we're going to place this like so. Center adjacent, as always. So now we have our front of our card. And we just used the washi strips. That's all we had to use. And then I am going to take this little envelope, add some adhesive to the back of it, and just place this right in the center. Because who doesn't love an interactive card? I know I do. When I receive an interactive card, I get so excited. So now we have, now you can close the envelope if you want, but I'm going to leave mine open. And I am going to use. Um, the sentiment, hold on one moment. Thought I had my sentiment prepared, but I didn't. Okay. And I'm going to use the sentiment that says, you're wonderful. And that is from, oh, my stamp is sticking. That is from the stamp set that is called Oh, I'm trying to get my, my stamp is really sticking in here. There we go. Called Fairy Fantasy. And I'm grabbing the You're Wonderful. And we're going to stamp it out. I love this little block from Gina K. I love tiny envelopes too. We got the mini envelope punch board just recently from um, what's it called from We Are Memory Keepers. Well, they're not called that anymore. They're called now We Are Makers or something. All right. So now we'll just put our little note right inside and it says you're wonderful. How fun is that? And I think that's all we need. I mean, you could add bobbles and all sorts of different things to it if you would like. But I think that this is all I need for a little Your Wonderful card. Uh, and of course, you could, you know, put other messages inside. You could write a message. Um, uh, no, this one I made with this die set. That's how I made that one. But again, these are our two cards that we made today. Now, of course, you can judge this up however you would like. If you would like to add, I would probably add maybe a little something in the center here just to kind of um, to ground this. Like probably, actually, let me pull this off. I think I'm going to add, um, I think we can add a little circle of the um, sequence sheet. Because, I mean, I can't get enough of this sequin sheet. I mean, can you? Like, <laughs> I cannot get enough of it. So let me grab my circle dies again and let me find an appropriate size. I'm thinking probably, uh, let's see. Because this one I don't think is going to fit. Nope. So I think we just need a little, This is the. these are the circle foundation dies. I'm thinking this one will be good because when we put our envelope on top. Yep, it just needs a little something to ground it. So I'm going to run this through real quick. I do not have this circle prepared. I apologize. All right. Let me trim this off here. All right. Send this through, and then we'll be done. Yeah, the mini envelope punch board is great. But this was so easy to just do with our sequin sheets.
Okay. Add a little adhesive to our sequin sheet. I just love these. There we go. That's what it needed. And then we'll add back our little envelope. Just needed a little something. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. I think that turned out great. All right, any questions from anyone about the rainbow free gifts? Any questions, comments, concerns? So again, this weekend, if you spend um, $50 or more, you receive the washi sheets. These are the rainbow washi sheets. You get two of them. And then if you spend $75, you will get the Boho Rainbow Stencil. Looks like this. And if you spend $100 or more this weekend, you will receive the Be Happy Cutting Die Set. And this cutting die set is massive. I mean, this is, this is huge. I mean, look at how many dies you get. I mean, it's a lot of dies. And if you spend 100, you get all three. Or if you spend 75, you get two. Or if you spend 50, you get one. So they do stack, which is really awesome. All right, well, that is it for me. Hi, everyone. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of my life. I appreciate you so much. I know, I love those dies too. I really do. Um, and it's a great free gift for $100 uh, or more. You get three free gifts if you spend $100 or more. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for being a part of my life. I appreciate you so very much. Remember to create something every single day, whether that's something with your rainbow items or your own. Um, Be Happy is available for sale. Yes, it's $19.99. So you can buy uh, this individually. This is the only thing right now you can buy individually, and it's $19.99. So you can get this still individually or as a free gift. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Um, I will talk to all of you very, very soon. Uh, I appreciate you all and love you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.